Hey guys, it's Lacey Elizabeth here. Guess what? We've got brand new product. Yes, Miss Rihanna just launched her brand new product and she hasn't launched a product in a while, but we've got this one right here. This is the brand new Sunstalker bronzing palette. This is actually a five pan bronzer. This I'm excited about because it's actually a full face palette with eyeshadows. This is like legit pretty, like pretty fantastic, amazing, beautiful. Like this is stunning. So I can't wait to try this on, test this out, and of course give this product a score. Let's get started. So this is the palette here. It's a really good size. I do enjoy it. It's a little bit smaller than my Scott Barnes palette, but I love it. I love these colors. That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So what this is, is actually her face and eye bronzing palette. So these are two eyeshadows right here. And then of course you have the five shades of bronzer right here. So you can actually contour and bronzer with these. So I'm going to swatch these on the back of my hand so you guys can see what they look like. All right, so we have a really good range right here. So this one's really going to be great for contouring these two right here. I'd actually mix them. That one's going to be actually really deep on my skin tone. They are all very warm. This one, the deepest shade is a little bit more on the cool, kind of the cool mahogany side. I do enjoy that shade though. That's very, very pretty. So today I obviously have no contour on, no bronzer, no blush, nothing like that. I just thought let's have fun and play with this. I'm going to pick up my brush. This is the brush. I actually just washed all my brushes, but this is the brush that I love to use for when I'm doing my bronzer. It's just the perfect amount of fluff. I love the shape of it when I'm using a bronzer, even a really, really big bronzer like my Scott Barnes, like you guys know, it's like massive because it's made for face and body. But this is the brush that I love. And this one is actually the Wand Ball Powder Brush. This is number eight in the collection from It Cosmetics. If you guys ever get a chance, definitely pick this brush up. This brush is amazing. So I'm gonna actually start with this lightest shade right here. All right, so what I don't love about this so far i'm just going to share with you guys is that when i went to go tap my brush in there I actually picked up just a little bit of the shade beside it which is totally fine it's just going to be a little bit more warm toned in that one spot i just kind of like tap that off but they're tiny they're so tiny which is great for contouring i suppose but at the same time if i'm going to bronze the face i just want like you know something really like swirl in there and get all that bronzer on there but we're going to see how this performs so i'm just going to tap into that, pick up some of that light shade, tap a little bit off on my wrist, and let's go in and just kind of start at the hairline. Okay. It's very subtle. Nice and sheer, not patchy at all. I'm gonna pick up a bit more product. As much as I love this brush, I'm going to actually switch to a different brush for this. All right, let's go in with this brush right here. This is also a It Cosmetics brush. This one is a number seven, and this is the Complexion Perfection brush. It just has a smaller tip than, than the other brush that I super, super love. So I'm just going to go in. Yeah, this is going to work out so much better. Let's pick up just a little bit more of that product. Okay, yeah, this is working out so much better. Okay, not mad at it. That's super cute. Okay, so what I love, I just have it like basically right here on my forehead. This is giving me that beautiful sun-kissed glow. I can totally see a difference right here and I'm really enjoying that. There isn't shimmer in this. It's just very matte and I like it. I like the formula, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this same color, dip that on the back of my brush, and I'm just gonna go in and finish bronzing up the perimeter of my face. This is basically where I place my bronzer every time I bronze my face. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm just gonna go right here on the tops of my cheekbones. I like that, I like that a lot. Yes, Miss Rihanna, you are killing it, because this is amazing. I'm gonna go in, do the same on the other side, and then we're gonna play with some of these other colors. This is going on so sheer, but just 
so perfectly. Like this is an amazing palette for summer. Like I am impressed. And when I say that to you guys, I mean it 100%. So I'm just going to just apply a little bit right here on the upper part of my cheekbone. So when you are applying bronzer, it's important to remember you're going to apply it where the sun's going to naturally kiss your face. Like that is very, very important. So I'm gonna go in, let's do one step over, go in with this warmer tone, the second lightest shade. I'm just gonna pick up just a little bit. I'm going to go in, it's, I wanna see what this is like right here just on the top of my cheek. I know we already have some there, but I just wanna play with these colors. Just gonna put a little bit right here. Okay, not mad at it. I am gonna go in with my Handy Dandy RT's blending brush and just blend that out just a little bit. Cause I do find it's a little bit warm. There, that's perfect. Wow, that is so perfect. I love that color. And again, I don't have any contour on. Normally I would have contour on, but I really just want to play with the palette. Let's see if we can contour with this. So now that I've got on that bronzer, again, we've used these two shades right here. This one for the, basically everywhere I would normally bronze and this one for the top of the cheekbones. I'm gonna go in with a smaller size brush and we're just gonna add a little bit of contour right in here and around the jawline. All right, <laughs> let's pick a nice contouring brush. I'm thinking this guy right here. Yes, I have a lot of brushes. And what's sad is that that's just those brushes. Like nothing else was in that container. It was just those brushes. And that's not even all of those brushes. Those are just the ones I reach for all the time, <laughs> which is crazy, but it is what it is. I do this for a living, so I do have a lot of brushes. So contouring, I kind of want to go in with this one. I know that's going to be a little warm. So I'm going to go in a little bit with this one too. I'm just going to mix both shades, tap that off really tap that off because I know how pigmented these are and I'm just going to basically draw from this point of my ear all the way down to here but we're gonna stop right there and from here to here that's where your contour is so if you guys literally go down and wherever your brush meets the top of your gum line like top of your gum and your teeth right there that's where you're naturally going to contour your face that is the a huge tip if you guys don't know exactly where to put it that's exactly right there just right where that hollow is right where your gums and your teeth kind of connect that's where your contour goes so again I'm just going to take that and just apply just a little bit right in that area and if you guys are wondering what brush I am using because I did forget to tell you this is a P. Louise number 673 brush to contour with and i kind of really like that it's a little warm but then again i have been literally bedridden for like i don't know about 11 weeks so i do not have a tan whatsoever so your girl's white right now so i think if you were really sun kissed that'd be like the perfect shade I'm happy with it. I'm very impressed. Considering I'm super light and this palette has the amazing shade range that it does. So honestly, if you guys pick this up, it's going to look amazing on you. Now, if you are very olive toned, I'm going to say pick this up and try it. It is very warm and I think it's going to work really well for you. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried it and you are super olive toned because I am very curious. I want to see how you guys like it. So again, I'm just going to pick up those same two colors on the brush, tap that off. I'm going to go in and contour the other side of my face. Now, Miss Rihanna, what I would love to see is a palette like this with more cool tones, but in a cream. Yes, you heard me. I need you to knock that out because I want that. We all need that in our lives. Definitely, if you make one of those, hit your girl up because that would be so fantastic and fabulous. This is a really, really pretty shade. I like this so, so much. It's just looking so, so snatched and pretty and beautiful. So let's go in. I'm gonna go in with this darker shade here, which we haven't used yet. So this is second from the end. It is warmer. 
definitely gonna tap this off on the back of my wrist. I'm going to go here under my chin. And I'm just gonna contour my neck. I mentioned this in a video before where I feel like obviously I've gained a little bit of weight. You know, that's the thing with the thyroid, right? So with this autoimmune disease, I gained about 20 pounds during my recovery after I had the surgery. You guys know this, I've shared this with you guys. But the best way to kind of contour my face so it doesn't look so wide and puffy, I did lose three pounds, I'm very, very proud of that. But the best way to kind of like, you know, just give it a little bit more shape and dimension is to contour just right here under the chin, under the jaw, go right here under your ear You guys, I'm not picking up any more product because I don't want this to be super, super dark. But we're just going to go in right there. You guys notice I didn't put any product right here. Because I just want this to look like a shadow. I don't want it to look like a line of, you know, a line of beauty or a mask line, if you guys will. Now, I'm going to take the same Artiz brush. This is such an amazing blending brush. And you guys know how much I love this brush. I have so many of them, but this one is my baby. I love this one. I've got like seven. So again, not obsessed, but I'm just going to take this and just kind of blend it down the neck. All right, so I'm going to toss up a before and after picture so you guys can see how bronzed and contoured my chin is right here so you guys can see the difference. All right, so I'm absolutely loving these shades right here, but I want to go into these eyeshadow shades. So first of all, I'm going to swatch these two colors on the back of my hand so you guys can see, you know, what they look like. Oh, that's stunning. That is a beautiful gold. They're both so pretty. I'm going to use that as a highlight. Ooh, yes, we're going to use that as a highlighter today. So this is a face palette, so you can use this on your eyes as eyeshadow, which I would totally recommend doing. I unfortunately did, forgot about that, and I literally put eyeshadow on before starting this video for you guys. But we're going to use that as a highlighter. So I'm actually going to go in with a very small blending brush right here. This one is the 232 from Smith. These are amazing brushes. If you guys haven't tried Smith brushes, I know they're expensive. They are AF expensive, but definitely if they're on your wish list, pick them up. So stunning and beautiful. So I'm just going to literally try that. Oh, yes. Yes, that is so pretty. So we're just going to try that right here on the tops of our cheekbones as a highlight. That is a beautiful highlight. Hopefully you guys can see that. That is stunning so I'm just going to take a little bit more I'm going to tap that off put just a tad on the tip of my nose and a little down the bridge because we want that sun-kissed glowy look and it's gonna pick up a little bit more product I'm going to add just a little bit right here on my brow bone and just a little bit right here on the inner corner. Not that I need it, I have so much shimmer up there, but like a little bit of shimmer isn't gonna kill you. We want that sun-kissed goddess look. And if you guys are curious what I'm wearing on my eyes, I will link all of the products as I always do down in the description for you. So definitely check that out. I'm just going to repeat those same steps on the other side. Oh, that is such a beautiful color for a highlight. Now I wouldn't use the darker gold for myself as a highlight, but if you have deep skin, goddess, like 100% goddess, you have to try that as a highlight because that's going to look so amazing. But this lighter gold, stunning. All right, so this is a stunning palette. I absolutely love it. You guys know what time it is. It is time to give this palette a score. Starting with application, this applied beautifully effortlessly it just went on sheer and not patchy at all like we had none of that this was stunning the formula is amazing so of course i'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. up next pigment like i mentioned in the video the shade range in this yes there's only one palette and it is all warm tones but it works for my skin and i have very cool toned 
very fair skin and this is stunning absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. moving on to texture and finish so i'm putting texture and finish in this you know category even though it's a bronzer just because i want to share with you guys my thoughts on it it did not give me any sort of texture at all it just actually smoothed out my skin this is a beautiful formula and again it is a powder formula it goes on so sheer and angelic goddess like that the finish is just it's just stunning so i'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10. and finally value this is $62 Canadian. You do get the two eyeshadows and the five bronzers. I think it's an amazing value for what you're getting because it does work for a full face palette. You're going to get this a gorgeous, you know, summertime glow out of this palette. Plus, just take that with you on vacation and you're good to go. Like two brushes, this palette, and some mascara and an eyeliner and you're set. Like literally, that is amazing. Now, I would apply some blush maybe, but that's just me. I wish she actually would have put a blush in this palette. If she would have put a blush in this palette, that would have made this absolutely perfect. But because she didn't, I'm gonna have to give this one a nine out of 10 for value. That brings us to a final score of 39 out of 40. Now, should you buy it, wishlist it, or avoid it? What do you guys think? I think I've raved about it enough. Like, I absolutely love this palette. Rihanna, sweetie, you knocked this out of the park. The formula is stunning, it's amazing, I love it. All right send your girl some PR. <laughs> All right, guys, if you love videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button. Of course, smash that notification bell and be subscribed so you guys don't miss when I drop a new one because they are coming. We are here. I am back and I'm so excited to be back. All right, guys, until next time, live, love, and lip gloss. Bye.